So anyway, the important thing is, as we're lying here in a puddle of our own vomit, hopefully we will learn something. No, 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 you idiot. Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to RimWorld in our 1.0 beta alpha playthrough thingamajig here. When we last left off, we acquired some human resources, and hopefully they will continue to prove very useful to us And as we feed them all of our supplies. It also occurs to me at the rate we're going, we're probably going to want a, a, a fair-ish amount more rice than what I was initially anticipating. I should have known better. You'd think I'd know better by now, but if you thought I'd know better, you were wrong, clearly. Because I'm... Yeah. Now we're probably going to go from having too, uh, too little rice to having too much. Actually, you know what? I'm going to expand our cotton fields a little bit as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Trink zone? Ooh. That's a nice new handy feature. And does that mean there is also an expand? Oh, I love that. That's so handy. Cotton. Growing-y stuff, more growing-y stuff. We're great, honestly. Now what are we missing? We are just missing the components, so we just need to... Uh, yeah, mine something from there and also in the other component mine. And we'll be great. Alright, so how, how are we uh, doing, by the way, with this guy? I mean, resistance is still at 5. Oh, of course, that's probably because I... Yeah. My handling and wardening -y stuff is pretty low. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I should probably like harvest these plants or go hunt some stuff. Make ourselves a couple of... Actually, when you're done, let's uh, harvest these berry bushes and then we'll make some meals out of them so at least we have something there. Eh, not bad. That's like two, two meals, three meals actually. And then you immediately feed it to the anarchist, the guy who's not actually contributing in any way whatsoever. All right, so I mean, resistance is going down. So I guess once resistance, medical emergency. What's going on with Hay House here. Oh, he's got an extreme infection. Pliskin's short bow arrow hit hey Oh, we actually even get a little uh, explanation of where all these injuries come from. So, so 70 immunity, 79 infection. Hey House is probably going to die. Just going to call it right now. I feel bad, yes, because I'm the one who caused this, but... You know. I am sure... I'm sure he's happier now than he was otherwise or something. It's gonna be an intense marathon right here. Alright, so let's see here. Infection is at 88%. I feel like it jumped. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, Hay House is definitely gonna... He's gonna die. You know what? Let's, uh... So we can at least pretend it's not our problem. Yo, hey house, I'm gonna... Gonna just, uh... Go ahead and release you. Not gonna happen, is it? Oh, there's... No, don't feed him! You're about to... Shit. Hey, uh, I, I did... I did say release, right? Yeah. Fine, go ahead, release him. I'm gonna, you know what? I could just get rid of... There you go, it's not my problem anymore. Cheesing the game for fun and profit. Not gonna work though, is it? I feel bad for him though, honestly. Well, there he goes. Does it does it actually still count as my problem? It does. Ah shucks, I thought I could cheese the system. But alas, it was not that simple. You know, Pliskin, why are you feeding these guys like so much? Worries, it seems like you're you are not eating at all. Like, you have literally just fed his prisoners your entire supply of food. Good job. 
Masterful work. I like to imagine that squirrel killed those animals over there. Let's uh, go hunt ourselves some soft fur. I'm sure it'll be fine. Totally fine. Definitely not going to go wrong in any possible conceivable way. Ah, here's where all the caribou went. I was wondering. How are your needs, anyway? I mean, you're okay, but you're not great. Oh, God. Holy balls. That is a ridiculously sized blight for selling this early in the game. But, also pretty easy to tend as long as we get on top of it right off the bat. Yeah, Pliskin, you gotta... Gotta get this stuff before it, it's too late, man. I don't trust him to just do it without me micromanaging him either. Stupid blight. But, I gotta say, I do like the fact that Blight works this way now instead of what it used to do, where it's just, it just killed all your crops instantly. There was not a damn thing you could do about it. So this is, it's still a, a, a general improvement. That only a crazy person would complain about. Which naturally means, of course, that I'm gonna proceed to complain about it at every chance I get, don't you worry. We should probably do something about that corpse lying there. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I, I guess... Could put a grave. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't believe in, uh, digging graves for the degenerates, so we'll just toss them in the swamp. The critical importance... Eh, we'll allow fresh. We only want corpses. And corpses that aren't our corpses. No animal, no mechanoid, uh, no colonist. Only stranger corpses go here. Excellent. So at least we're getting some work done. That's a plus. I mean, rice only takes, what, it's like three days to grow or something like that? Let's take a quick look at that. It's the fastest growing thing in... Oh, three days. Yeah. So, it's, it's really good and we're starving because... Pliskin here is an idiot and he gave everything... Mm. Kidding me. Ugh. You better not fail, Pliskin. You're gonna fail, aren't you? I mean, he should go down first. Like, just because of. Yeah. Can I, can I just get you to leave? It's not gonna work, is it? But if I can just get you out. Then it's someone else's problem. Yeah, tend to yourself, Pliskin. You have grossly disappointed me. You'll calm down in a while. You're gonna... Oh, God. Pliskin, forget it. Pl Pliskin. Plis Pliskin. Hurry up, Pliskin! That door's not gonna hold itself! And the door is not... The door did not hold. Good job, Pliskin. Alright, work on that door blueprint. You can take care of yourself later. At least we didn't, like, one-shot him. That would have been... I swear to God, if you have a mental break, Pliskin, because you were too stupid to eat yourself instead of, uh... Instead of tending to your own food needs. I'll be grossly disappointed in you. Oh look, there we go. It's not even rotten. All right, go haul that turkey. We'll uh, we'll take care of anarchist later. The key thing though is this turkey should have just enough meat on it that we can hopefully get a meal out of it. All right, go ahead and butcher it. If you need to, we'll, you know, actually if we need to, we'll just butcher, uh, hay house over here. I'd rather not, but, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures and all that. Okay. The turkey did not have enough. No, 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 you idiot. Take care of yourself first. Honestly, sometimes, huh? 
Oh, actually, look at that. There's This is a source of components that are desperately needed. And let's see, what else do we need? Oh, here we go. You know what, if I just say Butcher, will he go grab that wolf? I feel like there were some very Butch- Oh, and look at that. And some uh, spacecraft chum chum chunks have landed. I mean, I would like to acquire some Muffalo as well. So we will, we will make efforts. I mean, if we just have a male and female pair, then at least uh, I don't really care about. I don't really care about having a lot of male mufflos because I don't really care if my herd is like incest to high hole, high holy hell or whatever. He's gonna break. He's not gonna make it back. I could tell him to just consume the corpse. He's gonna break gonna break. I mean, I would really, really like it if Pliskin did not break and he actually made himself a meal before having a mental break. Because I'm, I'm trying, Pliskin. I'm trying. Stay with me here, man. Here it comes. Oh, no. Prisoner rescue. Prisoner being held by war lineup has managed to steal a radio and call you. Hancock is being held at a camp nearby under armed guard. Rescue him and he'll join your colony. He's a 36-year-old medieval minstrel. He says that he is, or that there is an enemy outpost at the site guarded by free enemies. Yeah, that's uh, not going to happen. Oh, God. You just know I'm like going to like just start cooking and then he's going to have the mental break, isn't he? Okay, here we go. All right, refuel, then cook, okay? Why did you... That's the farthest away one. Why did you grab that one? Why, Pliskin? Why? No, no. No, no, don't consume the human corpse. You're not a cannibal. Alright. Cook it and eat it. He's gonna have to finish this door first, isn't he? Because otherwise it's gonna be reserved for prisoners only. No, 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 no. Okay, finish the door. Ah, uh, he's the mental break's coming. I can. I don't know. You don't. You don't need to eat the. Look, there, there's a meal right here. There you go. You idiot. Absolute idiot. All right, there we go. You did it. You can hunt some buffalo, maybe just one at a time. Oh, you're gonna tend to him before you. Why do you do these things, Pliskin? I mean, he's he's not even gonna considered guilty. Expires in two hours. Radio, then. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, you break that door. I I hate I hate you so much right now, Pliskin. You punching the corpse? Uh, my rage, my rage has no bounds. Okay, please, please stop. Okay, he, he did stop. Which was very nice of him, actually. There's a lot of blood and hideousness in here. Probably not good. Might want to do something about this corpse, actually. You know what? Maybe we will allow human-like corpses, but not colonist corpses. Only strangers. That that seems right to me. If it really comes down to it. I mean, we'll get mad, but I think... Oh, Pliskin, you idiot. Look, look at these things. They're practically begging to be... Good job, Pliskin. Thank you. Thank you for that. Also, uh, go ahead and strip this guy. Good. Take his clothes. Repair his stuff. And clean the dirt. Once you're done. Alright, okay. Things are not that bad. We're coming back into our own here. Control is returning to us. Sort of. But not really. Sort of, but not really. The story of my life, honestly. 
There we go. All right. Oh, what, what's happening now? For, oh, here we go. Yes. Excellent. All right. So now we could start our, uh, our grand exodus. But I don't think we're ready yet. Also, you know what? While, while we're at this, let's uh, load up the old world map and see precisely where this guy is. Actually, I should have checked to see where the, um, the ship was while we were at it. You know what also occurs to me? I've never actually built the ship. I only ever, uh, I only ever traveled to it, which is kind of, kind of funny in a way. Less funny in another way, I suppose. Um, where, where are you? Oh, there it is. All right, so our ship is over there. I, I do have you sent... Oh, no wonder. That's why we're not hunting. It's because I didn't have it at a high enough priority. All right. And a couple of berries. That's also pretty important. Anarchist is having a medical emergency of some kind. I'm sure he's fine. I mean, he's got extreme malnutrition, so that is actually a bit of a problem. Anarchist is just going to die, isn't he? I can feel it coming. We're going to get a, a Manhunter pack of Muffalo on us. I mean, is it at least going to bleed to death? Probably not. Every other Muffalo is going to bleed to death, though. Especially the ones that I don't want bleeding to death. Or maybe not. I mean, I think the important thing from all this is that we are slowly learning how to actually shoot the side of a barn door. Oh, hello there, Muffalo. Someday. Good job. Masterfully done. Now you're just gonna go to sleep and let it bleed to death. That's... That's the real hunter's job. Where, where did... Oh, there you are. Trailing blood everywhere. I mean, to be honest, that's actually not a terrible... A terrible way to do it, the job... Are you kidding me? Yeah, and we've got like a rotting corpse in here. Gross. Oh my god! You know what? What the hell? Go ahead, Pliskin. You do you, friend. You do you. Masterfully done. Dangerous food type. So, how much did you eat exactly? You bit off his head and his left leg. That's, uh, that's some good stuff there. Mind-shattering pain. And now, by the time we are able to get back up again, we're going to immediately, immediately have a mental break. I guarantee it. This is fun. Yeah, just vomit all over yourself. I mean, no, I mean, it would have been, it would have been far too easy after the love of all those good and holy man. Just gotta wait for once some of these bruises go away, I'm sure we'll be fine. And we can butcher that muffalo on the ground. Like, why did you not just go butcher the muffalo? I'm sure it was dead by that time. Probably, maybe. Possibly. Stupid AI. Resorting to cannibalism instead of the obvious solution of going to hunt or just pick some berries. I sent you the orders. Jit. Oh wait, no I didn't. But I had. I was sure I had hit harvest. Maybe I clicked over it a little too fast. Anyway, the important thing is, as we're lying here in a puddle of our own vomit, hopefully we will learn something. No, 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 you idiot. You are going to butcher that creature. And vomit. No, no, no. Okay, I don't really want you to do that. Of course, then again, if I didn't want you doing that, I wouldn't have uh, said, hey, have human likes. So, no human likes. Alright. No, 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 don't rest. I want you to butcher the muffalo. Yeah, just chuck that off to... 
You are utterly, utterly hopeless. You know that, right, Pliskin? Oh god, we're already- we're getting hypothermia now. That's also pretty not good. No, no, don't consume the corpse, you idiot. Ugh. I mean, you've got all the resources you need. Oh, what do you know? It's actually September and it's actually starting to get- Why is it colder inside than it is out- Oh wait, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. As is often the case, and should come as a surprise to no one. Alright, so after that, clean the vomit, refuel the fire, and then cook the meat. Only 35 meat from that? Really? That's it? That's all we got. Hmm. And we'll also try to clean up some of this blood so that it's night. No, 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 no. Stupid Pliskin. There you go. Alright, we're, we're getting back on top. And we're gonna make sure we stay that way. By hunting these other muffalo so we can get a little bit of, uh, stealthy stuff going. I mean, yeah, it's negative two degrees in here, so... Let us, uh, go ahead and copy settings. And then stockpile settings. Also, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of, uh, series, but place your bets on how long it takes for me to die. Oh, you know what? Let's also equip this poor bo or this good bow, then consume a simple meal. There we go. All right. It's all coming together now, and also, when we're done, when we're done eating, prioritize getting rid of these corpses, because these corpses are disgusting and I don't want anything to do with them. Huh, it's actually warming up rather quickly. Uh, perhaps what I will do... I could just remove, like, a little square of roof. Like, right here. In fact, maybe I'll prioritize, uh, doing that. And this I'm going to delete so that we start keeping all our food in here now. Alright, everything is coming together. I suppose I could get us to wear this hat as well. I wear the duster over my... over my tribal wear. I think the answer is yes, but just to be safe. There we go. And there we are. The answer is in fact yes. I'm gonna hit clear force so that, you know, when the time comes we'll eventually remove that stuff on our own. Alright. We're, we're getting back... We're getting back on top. That's the important thing. We had a bit of a rough time there for a little while, but now... We are recovering, we are looking better, and we're all happy. Especially me. And that's the important part of it, so... Alright. And let's see. Still need these components right here. And what else? Oh yeah, we want to mine the silver over here. There's a lot of stuff we want to do, to be honest with you. Jolly good. Alright. There we are. Get a little bit of vittles in here. Mas masterful work there. Masterful work. I mean, yeah, minus eight degrees. That's that's actually real nice. It won't spoil because it's, uh, well, it actually is deteriorating because it's outdoor. Oh, wait, that means this stuff. Oh, yeah, I want animal corpses to be kept in the freezer area. Kind of important, actually. There we go. Good job, Pliskin. You are learning. Faster than I am, actually. You're making me look bad, in fact. I just know that despite my efforts, we're gonna have, like, a giant... giant horrible thing happening here. Oh, and once again, you're just gonna let them... I mean, it's gonna bleed to death on its own, so that's okay. It's gonna take a, a little bit of time, but uh, it will be okay. Yeah, then deconstruct these so we can finally get some power. Alright, good. That's what I want to see. There we go. That's the good work. And with that in mind, I think this is where we're going to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. 
and I will see all you in the next video.